Hamas, 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 and nothing about Israeli Muslims. Well, we say, we say Palestinians are not equal in life, and they're talking to the BBC, they say they're not even equal in death. We must keep the pressure on our politicians. Take three things away from here today. <laughs> these Western leaders represent? Who do they speak for when they say that the UK backs Israel's right to defend itself by unleashing bombs and collective punishment on the citizens of Gaza? Not us!
Ricky.
living in darkness Counting no water and electricity for hours They're knocking towers, but that's not knocking the power that I have in my pen When I'm writing, I'm unstoppable The microphone is the only escape possible Cause that's the way that I can speak my mind I wonder how does the fighter fight asleep at night Knowing he can turn the city upside down All of a sudden slaughtering families with the push of a button
invite humanity into antagonistic camps along ethnic and religious lines. At the same time, we have been moved by the many examples of genuine humanity, by people who are mourning family killed by Hamas, calling for their deaths not to be used as an excuse for more deaths, by doctors who have refused to abandon their patients in Gaza's hospitals, and by millions of people from all backgrounds who have come out in the streets around the world to call for this insanity and depravity to end. We will do all we can to help end the violence and bridge the divisions. Together we can bring the world back from the brink and towards a genuine, just peace. Comrades, I know it's been almost 10 years since we witnessed the extraordinary might and cowardice of the Israeli war machine when Gaza was attacked in 2014. This machine is only made possible by companies. Five, six, seven, eight. Freedom to Palestine. Friends, before our next speaker, could you listen to this woman? She wants to talk to the kids who climbed up the my children out there and above we are not helping the art here you are giving Israel. 
making so much money flying the cable in this resort. This is what this is what we are here for. We want our government. We need we're hearing a movement forward in holding Israel accountable for war crimes and crimes against humanity. When it reaches the upper echelons of politics, we don't leave it to them. We have to act in the same spirit and in our own way to hold all politicians accountable. But I'd like you to listen to another, the last M MSP for the day. Stella, 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 Stella. Yeah, I'm doing it. On. does not justify the collective punishment of a people. A collective punishment that must end. The horrific series of in Gaza must end and the indiscriminate bombing must end. The UK government are failing to use its position as an ally of Israel to call for an end to that collective punishment. I'm going to continue to use my voice in that den of iniquity of the House of Commons so that to represent my constituents and use the voice of my constituents to stand up for the millions of Palestinian people facing that delight of punishment. Abdullah, Abdullah, Abdullah. I am now. continue to argue the case for our Palestinian friends. Glasgow, let's hear you. Let the world hear you. Give every single Palestinian a cheer right now and let them know that, you're, that you are worth them. Thanks very much indeed. <laughs> Solidarity forever! <laughs> friends, there's no substitute for you taking action we applaud the words we've heard but you know football fans often watch a game on a tv and they say we won we won you didn't win you watched other people win that's the difference palestine action try to interdict arms companies they've driven elbit out of an english city that's the biggest arms company in Israel and they've driven their headquarters out of London. <laughs> Kat here. Kat is a student from Glasgow U. She's active in Palestine action. I don't think you're allowed to join. I don't think you can be inactive in Palestine action, but she's active in Palestine action. They put themselves on a line some of them risk, they all risk imprisonment. Most of them get off with juries who accept their arguments. But some are actually doing porridge. Kat from Glasgow University, a big cheer for Palestine and Palestine action. Hiya. Yeah, thank you. My name's Kat um, and I'm on trial uh, this month on the 20th of November, facing potentially two years or more in prison um, for dismantling a weapons factory in Govan uh, owned by Tales. So it was me and three friends, we're all in our 20s. Um, and Tales, uh, to give you an idea, they're a French-owned company, but they get money from Scottish Enterprise. Uh, they arm the Israeli Defence Force. They advertise drones as battle-tested on Palestinians. It's disgusting. Um, they also arm Indonesia. They arm the UK border force. They arm the European border forces, which are also committing human rights abuse on our borders. 
Um, they also arm Saudi Arabia, so they're a completely toxic company. They run the security for Calais refugee camp as well. These companies are not welcome in Glasgow. We need to kick them out. So I wanted to invite you along to be outside Glasgow Sheriff Court on the 20th of November when the trial starts. Uh, it's all, all, day, all week that week and it'll be starting around 9.30 in the morning and your presence will be so welcome because the jury is in our anti-racism and that means opposing all forms of racism ferociously. So yeah, thank you. I want to thank the speaker for her actions. Our campaign is solidly behind David Miller, who is a victim of persecution for studying the Zionist lobbies and identifying them and naming them. We disagree on that one, but we do agree on being outside Glasgow Sheriff Court on the 20th of November at 9.30. I hope I'll see a lot of you there. We should take part of this. Friends, we're getting to the end of the speeches. There'll be a final appeal for more DOSH. We've got lots of money to send for medical aid for Palestine, but if you missed your chance, somebody will ask you at the very end. But Omar Afzal is the final speaker. He is speaking on behalf of the Scottish Association of Mosques, and they have also played a sterling role in building and sharing information for this demonstration. Big hand for Omar. <laughs> Salaam alaikum brothers and sisters. I don't plan on keeping you for too long because we've heard some fine words here today already. And what crimes are being reported and committed, compounding the mass displacement of people that's taking place in the south of Gaza and still the bombs rain down. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. And whilst the international community gives Israel a free hand, politicians rhetoric sanitizes war crimes the people of Scotland will stand with the people of Palestine and say end the occupation now! End the genocide now! What we're witnessing today didn't begin on the 7th of October. It didn't even begin in 2007 with the blockade of Gaza. It began decades before with the illegal occupation and the settler colonialist agenda that took root then. This has been going on for decades, and we've stood here before. They are in control, 24 hours a day, 12 months a year, with every breath you take for 75 years now. How would you feel? Open your eyes, speak for the truth, for justice, for humanity, speak up for Palestine. Guys, can I just get a quick, very quick announcement? Anybody who's got a red bucket, please, can you come meet your way to the stage so you can start tallying up, please? Anyone who's got a red bucket, anyone who's got any donations, please come up with the, the, the base here. That's all I want. Thanks very much. Safe journey home. God bless you all. Oh, 
Sea Palace. Thank you. any issues with you having a good time not at all right but please the people with the buckets can you please bring come forward any donations please come forward we've got the machines over here as well we've got to make this a fruitful event all right for the people of gaza all right my brothers and sisters please i'm not trying to be uh, spot a party pooper okay right red buckets over here thank you
I want you to all look at history. You will, you will, you will, 100%. I will. Huh? Are you these guys are on. Are you guys? Yeah, we understand. So you're very Over there and ask us to come over and make sure everyone's no. okay. But if you're okay and you're okay, you're okay. then you guys are okay. Aye, so we, we want to talk, have we? We want to talk. Aye, good. Okay. We don't Enjoy want violence, we want to talk. Good. Because that's how you respond. Well, guys, come in. Come in. Come in. Okay, so that's your opinion. You can, you can video. I'm, I'm not even talking about the troubles today. I wanted to talk about the troubles of the past. But you can't change right. the past. This is, this no, is the I want but, but how we got here. Okay, if you don't know the past, you don't. The reason why we don't have the history, yes. I agree right. with all the history and everything that's going on. What I'm saying to you today is, I want you to forget about Palestine today, right? No, I don't mean that literally. What I want, what I want you guys to listen to me as a Scottish person, as a Scottish soldier, I left here and went to Northern Ireland, right, in the troubles. Not one of these Scottish people, there is not a Scottish person. When my pe when my friends died, yeah. they never came out they to George Square. Are you with me? Yeah. Are we on the same wavelength? Yeah. Thank you very much. I don't know anything about that. Yes, That's but I'm trying to, I want you to read the books, because yeah. I read your books. If you give me a book to read, I'll I read, read a book. I read Palestine, I read Israeli. Are you with Palestine? From 1968, from 1968 until recent years, 30 years ago, nobody came in George Square and went, that poor little Scottish soldier who died last week, but they can come out for you today. What's the difference? We've had 75 years of education. It's not that. 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 It's I'm what you speak to Bobby But they don't see it like that. I know, I know, let me speak to you. We're all human beings. They, it's always they. He's a good rang like the things always get up by. He's a good friend guy. No, no, I'll tell you the truth, guys. I was down for a I spoke to two constables out there, and they saw me right to the top of the board, and they went to get 100% agreement. A young sergeant came in, I don't know where she came in, but the sir, she started to do this shit. Please forgive me about what I'm going to do before this man who called me to stop They went, they just turned up with you. Police, police. Any message for Palestine? Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free! 
Sure, they would do that, but that's not the case, as we know. And uh, to be honest, in this country as well, that also isn't the case. In 2003, the Iraq War, a million people were on the streets to oppose the Iraq War. A million people. I mean, how many people went to war? Where did the million people go? How could they control a population? How could they demobilize all the people that were marching? And as part of our strategy of controlled opposition, we come out today, we wave our placards, but where are we tomorrow? We have to be meeting each other tomorrow and the day after, and we need to start actually trying to build a movement that challenges our own government, because this is where we are, we're based. If we get anywhere in this struggle, the Zionist state, yeah, they'll have a problem, but who's going to come chapping your door? It won't be an Israeli soldier, it'll be a police Scotland officer. Right? Fact. If you get anywhere in this struggle, like, you're going to come up against this British state who are already trying to ban from the river to the sea and ban the Palestine flag. For the last six, seven years, they've called us all anti-Semites. We've all been accused of anti-Semitism for being supporters of freedom for the Palestinian people. So, our struggle is here. We need to confront the British state. We need to confront the people who defend the British state. And we need to call out Zionism for what it is. Regardless of what the Labour Party think, regardless of what the Tories think, regardless of what the SNP think, Zionism is racism to its core. And we have to condemn it as that. We need no apology for doing that. We're not anti-Semites. The reason why we condemn Zionism is because we are anti-racists. And that means we defend all people against all prejudice. So, Zionism is racism. Zionism! 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 Please come up and raise the mic. Just say anything you want, even if it's just to make a couple of words of why you came here today. Be brave. Yeah. Someone has to get a few fresh in there. I didn't say it before because I'm shy, but I hope you guys know that Scotland are always with you guys. Fuck Russia sooner, I can say in the and the Palestinians and freedom, fuck Zionism, it's racism. You're always welcome, we love you all. Yeah. Just wanted to say a few words there. You might have seen on the main platform there are speakers who like to the SNP and the Labour Party. Now let me make a couple of points about that. You'll, you probably have seen what Keir Starmer's been saying. He was saying any, any Labour councillor, any Labour MP, a pro-Palestinian, free Palestine demo. This is what they're coming up against in terms of the fact that even the nominally left-wing party in British politics